Okay, here's how to make a siren sound with the Q169 Oscillator++. Plus Plus. And while this is a simple sound, I think it'll be uh, helpful to show you how to use the Q169 and patch with it and get what you want out of it. Uh, we're gonna start here with our simple patch where we have our pitch driving our oscillators and also our gate driving our gate so it can trigger our envelope generator for us. And we're gonna to listen to the output of oscillator number two. Now notice you don't hear anything and that's because the amplitude of oscillator two is turned down. And since we're in the middle position, the knob controls that. And we can control the amplitude. And we can listen to different waveforms. So for a siren sound, what we have is a steady sine wave or some other simple waveform. I'm not really sure what it is on a siren, but it's probably either a sine wave or a triangle wave, I would guess. And the pitch of that is modulated by another oscillator. Uh, we're gonna use the LFO, but it'll start making sense once we patch this up. So here's what we're gonna do. Since the Q169 is so good at modulation without patch cables, we already have the option to modulate the pitch of oscillator number two with the LFO, with this switch right here, and this will become the amount. So we'll start at zero, and then we'll flip the LFO on. So now the LFO will modulate the pitch. And I'm gonna turn this to envelope generator and turn that up so that when I press a key, we'll get a tone. And we're listening to triangle there just oscillator number two. So we have the LFO turned on to pitch modulate oscillator number two, but it's turned to zero, so we're not hearing it yet, but we're going to turn it up and we'll hear the modulation. Now this is basically vibrato, where tremolo is a modulation of amplitude, vibrato is a modulation of pitch. So let's just pick a key here, start out, and we can change the speed of our LFO. The output of the LFO is a sine wave, so I think that probably matches what the siren of a fire truck is. And this will become our depth knob for the depth of the modulation. Zero. Let's try sine wave. 